when did you when did you get into photography? Okay, so this is a story I love telling. Or, <laughs> or if you were into any sort of art before that, and mm-hmm. you feel like that kind of led into it. Oh yeah, absolutely, the, man. So the whole spectrum. Um, so basically, this is how it all like started. So when I was little, before I even got to pre K, like I was, uh, I was using my crayons and pencils and just drawing just about anything. Mm-hmm. Of course, I wasn't like a master of the craft, but I was doing like a bunch of crazy stuff. And then, um. What I used to do is I would, like, watch something on TV, like football or whatever. I will watch football, and after a football game or whatever, I would go and, like, just try to, uh, <laughs> you know, color and, like, create, like, what I just saw on TV. Mm-hmm. And, you know, that led into um, me, like, just constantly drawing and coloring and just just doing a whole bunch of stuff. You know, while I was in pre-K, all, all through, like, um, all through school, man, like, as time progressed, you know, I got progressively better. Um, but I would <laughs> I would get in trouble in class mm-hmm. because instead of me paying attention to the teachers, I would draw. Yeah. Like, even, even like, when they would give us tests and whatnot, I'll be doing my tests, and I'll be drawing on the test. Same thing. Yeah. I, Same I, here. And, I, and I'll give you another one. Uh, so... I had, I'll never forget this. I was in probably like sixth or seventh grade. I think it was sixth grade. And it got so bad that one of the teachers banned me from bringing my sketchbook in school. Yeah. Not in school, but in her class. Yeah, because she would constantly have to, like, tell me stop drawing while she's teaching. And, of course, she was right. But at the same time, man, I was just, like, I was drawing everything, yeah. man. Like, I, would, I would sketch portraits of my teachers during class. Oh my god. Like in 7th grade I remember specifically my social studies teacher Mr. Davis. Okay. While he's teaching the class, uh-huh. every time he turns <laughs> and I get a good look at his face, I'm like, "Okay, a little bit there." Uh-huh. All right. And I like drew I, I did the same thing with um I don't remember the guy's name, but he played The Mentalist. You remember that show? Blonde, um, blonde yeah, yeah, curly yeah. hair. Mm-hmm. So we were watching that at home one night and I just sketched out his face. And okay. I haven't seen it in a really long time, but I was pretty proud of it at the time. I think I was uh, in like ninth grade then. Okay. Yeah, yeah but um, dang, I haven't heard that show in a minute. Yeah. Good God. But yeah, I used to. So I used to sketch like I, I did the exact same thing, so, and I was also like would get in trouble for drawing on everything mm-hmm. instead of doing my work. Yeah, man. Like, it, like I said, like got so bad. She she made sure I was not able to bring any type of sketch pads or anything like that yeah. in my class. And it hurt, man, because that was, That's that was like did. my heart and soul, yeah. man. And, but as you know, as time, again, like as time progressed, I got into high school and my uh, teacher noticed something that I was always doing, like my art teacher. Mm-hmm. Um, she noticed that I was always, uh, I was always drawing, but also I was constantly drawing from photographs. Right. Mm-hmm. And she, uh, you know, she took me aside and she was like, you know what? Why don't you try, actually? Why don't you give your hand at photography? And so she showed me how to create a pinhole camera from a, uh, from a shoebox. Hey, hope you enjoyed that clip. Full episodes of the Small Stuff Podcast are available on YouTube and wherever it is you get your podcasts. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Follow us on Instagram, TikTok, all the things. Links in the description. We'll see you later.